we have got a ton to catch up with. It has been quite a while since we've done a crochet in chat and um, the month of December just came and went. So let's catch up. I am coming to you from a totally different location. This was actually um, my daughter's bedroom when she would come home from college. So um, just I was hoping for a little bit of better lighting today. Um, it's January, it's in the afternoon and you know, there just isn't always a lot of light. So here we are. I have a project I'm going to be working on today and it is a shawl and I will go into more detail on that in a different video, but I am using Yarn Bee's Urban Chic in the color Blush and Stone and I got this um, last June during the annual clearance sale. So I will put a link up here if you want to see my haul from that. Um, so that kind of leads me into a good question. I was kind of toying around with the idea since I have been around to a few of the Hobby Lobby clearance sales. Are you interested in a video where I talk about that? Like kind of, you know, what plans are for it, um, what I would suggest, any tips, things like that, or is that super boring? Um, you know, sometimes that's helpful when you are, you know, maybe newer to the yarn world, um, to get some tips, but if most everybody's already familiar with it, then I'm kind of like, eh, it's old news. Nobody needs to know. So kind of let me know on that. Or is that something where when it gets a little closer, would you participate in a live, like a live chat? Uh, like a real one, not like just chatting in the comments of a video when it goes live, but like an actual live that I've never done before. <laughs> um, you know, something to think about, because then maybe we can all offer each other tips. Um, let me know what you think about that. Um, but the first thing I wanted to talk about was um, my original plan to show you a video of all of the projects I made for Christmas. Um, but when trying to do so and putting the footage I took together, I really didn't like it. Um, so, I mean, it would definitely be considered more vlog style. I had, um, you know, just kind of through like November and December, um, when I was either in the middle of a project or finishing a project, I would, um, you know, take some footage of it. And then, um, I was just going to do a voiceover um, over it explaining what I did. Um, but I just, it, I didn't like it. I didn't like how it was turning out in the editing process. Um, I just didn't think it would be valuable um, to anyone to really watch because it just wasn't like high enough quality. Like the lighting was bad. Um, you know, I was kind of shaky since. I didn't, um, it, yeah, it just wasn't really turning out how I had hoped. So, um, unfortunately that video will not be coming out. Um, but I definitely learned from the process and I know, um, some things I will definitely do differently. Like I think I will do, um, maybe like a, maybe like a two part video or three part, whatever, um, depending on how much stuff I end up making, um, I might just do that and then like have one in whenever I start like October, November, December, um, and just kind of showing those, um, or I might film them in their entirety and then just hold on to them <laughs> until after Christmas. Um, in case anyone's watching that would get a gift. Hi Betty, if you're watching, <laughs> um, that's my mother-in-law. Anyway, so, uh, I don't know, just something, something to think about, but yeah, I, I did say in my last video that that would be coming out and it will not be coming out. So that is okay. Uh, the second thing I wanted to chat about, um, while I'm crocheting and I should say this row of this shawl, I am doing, um, a double crochet chain, double crochet chain. So it is, that's the back side of it. Here's the front. Um, it is um, kind of mindless. 
I seem to mess up the row where it is single crochet, chain, bobble, chain, sing, I'm sorry, not single, double crochet, chain, bobble, chain, double crochet, chain, bobble. You get the idea. That's the one I keep messing up because I keep like adding two bobbles right in a row or something like that. So if it gets to that row, I'm in trouble and I, I won't be able to crochet it to add anymore. Um, but second thing on my agenda that I wanted to chat about was at first I was like totally poo pooing the idea of a temperature blanket. And, um, today is, I believe the 10th of January. So I'm, I would be far behind if I started. Um, but I don't know. I keep seeing more and more <laughs> on, um, like my friends doing it. So I don't know. It's not like I feel peer pressure, but it just, I don't know. It's kind of making me want to do it. Um, but I think I want to do it, um, a little bit different. So Leah from Leah crochets is doing hers for a month, which I think is super cool. And, um, she's doing granny squares. Um, what I was thinking about doing is, um, 12 granny squares. So like a granny square per month. Um, and if I did it like that, um, I think it would be easier for me to catch up too, because you know, like the first, um, I mean, you know how a granny square works. <laughs> it's much smaller in the center. So like, you know, each day, um, would be a row. So I'm assuming my granny squares would end up being like, you know, 12 by 12 inches or some, you know, 14 by 14 or who knows. Um, but doing like a row a day. So like the first few row or, you know, would be pretty small anyway. So I think that would give me a better chance to catch up. Um, but then the other thing I wanted to do, which I'm also kind of uh, borrowing the idea from Leah is I wanted to do, um, like showcase the high and low for the day. Um, because um, I'm in Iowa, if you don't know, and I do have a couple Iowa subscribers too. So, um, they know how it is here. Um, but the, the high and the low can vary by like 30 degrees in a day or something crazy. So, or more, <laughs> um, but I, so what I was thinking about doing is putting two strands of yarn together for the day. So when I come up with my chart, you know, have the different degrees, um, but by having the high and the low, then I could have, you know, the two strands put together of the high and the low for that day in that row on the granny square. So I don't want this blanket to weigh a hundred pounds. So uh, the yarn I'm thinking about getting, um, I've got this Hirschner's catalog here. This came a little bit ago and I'll try to zoom in on that because this code is good for just a couple more days. I'm going to try to get this up today on the 10th or it might be Wednesday the 11th. Um, but it's free shipping on orders over 35. Um, of course in the U S um, it expires on the 6th, January 16th, 2023. Um, and the code is after Xmas. So I'll try to get that up there real close. If you can screenshot that, um, a F T E R X M A S for free shipping on orders over 35. What I was thinking about doing actually is, um, the new Hirschner's Afghan yarn. So they did switch these up from the old Afghan yarn and I've only used the old. Um, it's a, two, it's a two, it's a fine weight. Um, it's acrylic machine wash. Um, these are two ounce balls and they are like 50 grams and 244 yards in it. So I will probably need, I don't know, several balls of each color, but since I've never done one, I'm unsure of how many I need, but I know none of these will get discontinued because they are new. So my thought is I can order, um, you know, enough to get started, you know, just like maybe one or two of each color, um, that I would use in the blanket. And then as I'm going, and if it gets to be like June or, you know, whatever, maybe before, who knows, um, I can order more. And I'm pretty certain that I would be able to get all of these. Um, so I think I'm going to do one with possibly 10 or 
10 colors in it. Um, I'm not going to um, reveal those yet um, because I might still back out. <laughs> but I, I am I am definitely leaning pretty hard. And since I have the deadline of getting this free shipping, I want to definitely make a decision quick about that. Um, but these balls are $1.99 a ball. Um, they did have um, towards the back of this catalog, if you have the same one, um, the Hershner's Classic Afghan Yarn. So it would be the same yarn as before, but it's new packaging and it's a five ounce ball. So that's more than double what it used to be. Um, and this would have been the more economic way to go um, because it is $3.49 a ball and that worked out to be like 69 cents an uh, ounce. Um, and then they had bags of three of each of these um and so it was 897 for the bag of three and that worked out to be 59 cents per ounce um where the ones that i think i'm going to get are like um what was it like 99 cents a dollar and which in the scheme of things it it's still pretty cheap but um that is they had less colors in these there was 40 out of the ones I'm going to use. And these are really pretty and they're, I think they would be great if you wanted to do like a standard um, temperature blanket with a lot of bright colors, but I'm kind of doing my own thing and I am going to do mine um, in like colors that match my living room. So, because here's the thing, I want to have it out like all the time and I want it to fit in and that's just the way it is. So that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> so I've been doing a lot of chatting and not a lot of crocheting, but so that is, um, yeah, kind of a big thing I got going on. So I will let you know in a couple of days what I do decide on that. But then the final thing that I wanted to talk about, um, and it's one of those where I would kind of like your help. And also if you think that I, should do a live regarding this um, where we could all kind of chat. I, I'm definitely open to that. Like I said earlier, I haven't done a live, um, but I'm definitely open to it. I would probably want to do it on a Sunday evening um, because that would probably be the best time for me. And if I need IT help, <laughs> um, you know, my husband would be around to help um, because that is not my area of expertise. So um, anyway, the point of that long story was that I decided that I was going to start looking um, because I wanted to enter some projects in the county fair this year. Um, I was kind of curious last year and I went, I hadn't been to my county fair before and uh, I went through and one person entered crochet projects. That's right. One person. <laughs> and I cannot remember her exact name, but it was very similar. Like it, it was like Mabel or something like that, which is a lovely name, but you don't really hear of a lot of like 40 year old Mabels. <laughs> um, when, you know, I hate to say it, but when I think of Mabel, I think she is probably like, would be closer to like a grandma's age. Um, like, my grandma's age. Um, so I am guessing that Mabel has a lot more experience than I do, <laughs> um, which that's just fine. Um, and you know, here's the thing. If she's the only one entering, maybe she desperately wants someone else to enter. Like maybe she wants to stop, but she's not because, because it, you know, then there wouldn't be any entries. I don't know. Her stuff was very good. I will say that. Um, so, um, but I guess the, the question to this is, do you have, like, have you entered stuff in your county fair? What have you entered? Uh, what did you find went well? Um, I've watched a bunch of videos from Ella at No Catchy Name Crochet, or No Catchy Name. And she has for several years entered stuff in the fair. And um, I watched a ton of those. And then also 
uh, Llama Mama Kayla entered a bunch of stuff in her fair, and she's been doing that for several years. I think these gals, their county fairs are much more elaborate than mine. I was going off of a book um, from like last year, but it was online and it was so basic, so basic. Like there aren't a lot of rules. It doesn't go into a lot of detail. Um, it does say you can enter two items per lot. So for example, I am working on this shawl that I will enter in. And um, so I could enter two shawls. So I'm making like more of a winter shawl and a summer shawl. Same way one of the categories is scarf. So um, I found a pattern of like a really pretty like thicker furrier ruffly scarf for I'm gonna enter for like a winter and then I wanna do like a real lacy one for summer. Now there's no rule saying you have to do summer and winter. That was just my idea to keep myself like, I don't know, more challenged and like a little less monotonous so things would be different um but my fair will be in like july and so i'm starting in january because i just want to take my time i want to work on other projects in between i don't want to get stressed or anything like that so um what i have kind of come to the conclusion of is most fairs they want you know like different stitches shown in there and it seems to be people have better luck with like, you know, brighter, more eye catching colors. Um, so like I said, is this something you would help me with? Like if you have experience, I would love to know. Um, you could, you can write down in the comments, you can email me, please. Anyone can always email me. It's just Shannon at Shannon talks Um, or I'm on Instagram. It's Shannon dot talks.yarn and you can dm me there too that would be awesome um but yeah if you would be interested in participating in a live let me know because i am very curious about that i almost forgot you guys um i am super excited and i will put in a picture um just right after this but um i want to thank you guys for being with me because um, I don't know if you saw, but I have now done over a hundred videos and that seems absolutely crazy to me. Um, I started uploading, I think it was either the end of March or the beginning of April, might've been the beginning of April. Um, and so, um, as I'm recording this, I'm a little under 900 subscribers. And like I said, I hit a hundred videos and I am super duper psyched. And if you guys didn't watch them and comment, um, I probably would have quit. Um, so just a gigantic thank you from the bottom of my heart. Here's a screenshot I took the other day when it hit 100. Thank you so much for sitting and crocheting and chatting with me today. I got a lot more chatting done than I did crochet. I think I only got like this far, um, but that is okay. Like I said, I have until july to get these projects done and i want them to be enjoyable and i want them to be fun so um i am gonna have my next video that comes out after this is going to be um, my first fair project that i did um, so i'm super super excited um, i totally like i know for other people it, it's like easy um, but i was stretching myself a little um, the pattern initially was harder but um, once you got the hang of it, it wasn't bad. But then the yarn weight was much smaller than I usually use. So I am crazy excited to show you. And I'm getting off track here again, because uh, once I start chatting, I have a hard time not chatting. But I appreciate you joining me, and I look forward to catching up with you soon. As always, thank you for talking yarn with me.